Good evening guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Basic Fundamentals for the F-14 Tomcat. Today we'll be wrapping up in navigation. Uh, we'll be going over manually creating waypoints in the mission or in the uh, F-10 map and then how to uh, get Jester to enter them in and uh, how to navigate his menu to get around. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the F-10 map. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come up here to mark point. Okay, so you can see mark label there. And we're going to create our first waypoint over here at Fajira. Alright, and we're just going to title this Waypoint 1 Overkill. Now, it's important to name it in a way that you're going to recognize it as your own. You can name it whatever you want, but you want to make sure you name it in a way that you will recognize it because if you're doing this on a multiplayer map and other people are creating these marks you're going to be able to see those two in the menu so think about that ahead of time then let's set waypoint two over here at uh, Tunnel Island and we'll go waypoint two overkill let's set waypoint three up here at Kesham And then for our target stuff, we're still going to do the same thing like we did before. So we're going to go ahead and set our IP. And we're going to title it just like we did in the mission editor. So we're going to call it overkill. Or actually we can just call it IP overkill. That's one way to type it, I guess. Then we'll have our target. This time it's a mail truck. I get tired of getting bills all the time. Surface target. Overkill. No electric bill this month. And our egress point. That will put us on target for the water bill. <clears throat> so we'll do fix point. Overkill. All right. So that's enough where you guys will get the gist. I probably won't enter all of them in. I just want to show you guys how it works, the basics, you know. So we'll jump back into the cockpit. And now what we're going to do is have Jester enter them in. So this is where these commands, so Jester AI, come in handy. So you want these command buttons, ideally, mapped to something, unless you're using voice attack, which, by the way, on Friday night or first thing Saturday morning, you will have a tutorial on how to on the basics of setting up voice attack okay um, and you're going to want the menu button because that's how we actually select something and the command buttons ideally okay so the first thing we're going to do is hit our gesture button so A on the keyboard and we're going to hit it again to get to the main wheel so there's the main rose wheel and we're going to come down here to navigation that's what we're going to be working with today so we're going to go ahead and you can, if you have track IR VR by pointing your head, you can get around him. Or you can hit the command buttons, left control 5. And then we're going to come over here to steer point from map. So left control 4. And we're going to be looking at waypoint 1. I just go ahead and go waypoint 2. We're getting pretty close to 1. So left control 2. And now you can see why we named them the way we did. Waypoint 3, waypoint 2, waypoint 1. So in this case, we're going to do left control 5. You got it. And I'm going to shut the air off so you can hear him fooling around back there. Typically takes about 30 seconds or so. It sounds like he's got her done. So we'll go ahead and bring our gesture menu back. And hit it again to get back to the main wheel. Go to navigation. Come up to. Oh, I went too far. Never mind. We're going to hit the A button again. There we go. Navigation. And 
What am I doing that? It's doing that. You know what it is? It's my voice attack. Hold on one second. There we go. Mute it. Okay, and then we will hit A again. There we go. Now we got it. And come over here to waypoint two. Mother, switching to steer point two. And you can see right there is now appeared on our HSD. Okay, now the same thing goes for like the IP. Let's go ahead and enter that in real quick. Let's do one more. So on this one, I'm going to show you guys how cool voice attack can be, just so you can get the an example if you haven't seen it yet. Jester. Navigation. Steer point from map. Initial point. Where did I put it? Press three. Roger. So really cool stuff. Disregard that stupid thing that keeps popping up on the screen. Alright, so it sounds like he's done there. Jester. Navigation. Select destination steer point. Initial point. Welcome. Switching to initial point. And you can see once again that our waypoint has changed. Okay, so that's the basics of setting up waypoints and initial points using the F10 map. I mean, it, it's there's really not a lot to it. Um, the last thing that we'll uh, talk about here is how to use our attack hands and stuff. So once again, we're going to bring up Jester. And let me mute the uh, voice attack. And we'll hit Jester again. And we'll come down here to navigation still. Well, this time we're going to go to the attack hand radio. And we're going to go tune tech. Now, real quick before I get going too crazy here. The reason why you see the tanker and the stennis is because we have the stennis here. And I have a tanker out here somewhere. I don't know where he is, truth be told. There he is right there. KC-135. We're actually heading right for him, ironically enough. Okay. So, because they're already up and configured we're going to see them in the wheel. So let's say we wanted to hit the Stennis. We're going to come up here and select Stennis. Uh, Roger. Now watch our tack end down here. And there we go. We're now tuned for the uh, Stennis. Now let's do it again, and this time we'll go for the tanker, and it should come right about in front of us. And we'll use Jester again. Jester. Navigation. Tack end. Tune tack in. Texaco. Oh, I didn't set that, sorry. Press 1. Roger. And voila. Now we're heading towards our tack in. Now, the last thing that we can do is let's say we want to go to a tack in station that isn't actually selected. So let me see if we can find one that, an airfield that has it. Uh, no tech in. Not many here do. Let's check out Dolph. That's a military base. Cool. So 96 X ray. Jester. Navigation. Tech in. Press 3. And if you see it, there it is right there. So. Pause for a second so you guys can see what happened. Ground stations are any of the maps built in stations that are pre existent. Okay, so you don't have to enter them in manually, you just have to figure out which one it is that you want to go to and then find it in the menu wheel. Okay, so come up here, press one, press one, Brother. and we should tune. Here we go over to Aldafra Air Base. 
All right, so that is the basics of this, guys. Um, pretty simple stuff. And this works for any of the waypoints. I mean, you can do the hostile area like we talked about, the home plate or home base. Um, for those of you who were, uh, I know someone asked me why I kept saying home plate in the last video. Home plate is a brevity uh, for the carrier. Um, it's one of the, you hear mom or mother or home plate. Um, those are all identifiers for the aircraft carrier. Okay, so if you say you're returning to home plate, you're returning to the carrier. You're returning to mom or mother, you're returning to the carrier. Okay, um, so in case people were wondering why I kept saying that, that's why. Uh, prior to the Tomcat coming out, I primarily flew the Hornet. Um, so I got real, you know, I was trying to get good at talking uh, and according to naval brevity. But uh, don't let that confuse you. It's just home base. So you can title, um, you can create your, your home base waypoints. You can create any of your navigation waypoints, all of your targeting waypoints, your uh, hostile areas, your um, defending points, all of that stuff you can still enter. And you can title it whatever you want. I mean, in the uh, F10 map, you just have to make sure that again, to title it in a way that you're gonna recognize it. Because if we go, if we're on a multiplayer map that's super busy, when we come down here to the steer point from map, and we go select a waypoint these wheels you may have a couple of pages of everybody's waypoints that are around you okay so for example if there were three other players who were also marking I might see uh, waypoint John waypoint Santa Claus waypoint bonehead you know I mean how however they're titling it um, so you need to make sure that you guys know which one's yours now I'm gonna show you one other thing a lot of people try to get in a rush and they'll just come in here oh I need to go here and they'll hit OK and then they'll come back to the cockpit okay and let's uh, back that out for a second and come back in Copy. oops I don't know why I did that navigation steer point from map waypoint one okay and so here's the next page I was telling you about next page and then here you have the waypoint one from overkill but if we go back to the previous page I'm sorry that's where it was there it is no name okay so if you have five or six people doing no names and you can see that all it sort of tells you is the distance tells you when it was entered but there's no way of knowing if it's yours okay so always make sure that you're naming them correctly all right all right guys so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to enter in your steer points manually okay so we're just going to go to our gesture wheel Go to navigation, manual enter steer point. Oh, sorry, never mind. Never mind. Sorry about that, I had my gesture on. So again, navigation, steer point, and we'll just do waypoint three. And then because we're in the Persian Gulf, we'll always be doing using north and east. So first we're gonna enter in our north coordinates and those will always be in five digits. So we're going to use our commands. So left control two, five, five, four, four. Okay. Now we're going to enter in our east coordinates. So control one, and these will be again in the six-digit increments, starting with zero though. So we're going to come over here and go eight, find our zero, six, with a zero button. We're back in here and we're going to do five four three one four and then tell him to confirm Copy. and again you can hear him back there entering in the coordinates And you can see there that our waypoint has already appeared because I already had waypoint three selected. And it should be taking us out to Siri Island. So if we go to our F10 map, find our aircraft. And there's Siri Island right there in front of us. Okay, so that's how you would enter in your own coordinates if you wanted to do that. And then you still gotta wait for him um, to enter in the uh, coordinates in the back computer. Okay. The next thing we're going to take a peek at is the TACAN and how to enter your 
uh, channels in manually. So once again, we'll take a peek at Jester. Go down to Navigation Utility, go to TACAN. Now you can see currently we're in Transmit Receive, set on 99 X-ray or 96 X-ray, and it's the uh, pilot control. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and point us at the Stennis. So we're going to select radio mode, okay, and if we were in air to air, for example, this is where you would change it. You can go to your mode, you can turn the TACAN off, go to receive, transmit, receive, air to air mode. So you use this for uh, locating a tanker or if you have another aircraft that's running yardstick. Um, for those of you who don't know, yardstick is a uh, another brevity where basically um, a wingman or um, another fighter will broadcast a tack hand signal that you can at least get his uh, bearing. You won't be able to get range, but you'll get his bearing information. And then over here we have the beacon. So if we have uh, a uh, ground target or ground operation that's transmitting a beacon for us to locate, that's how you would do that. Okay, so we want to be in transmit receive, so that part's good. You got it. Then we'll come back into navigation, tack hand, and now we're going to select the channel. Now, the channels you can see has three digits here, okay? We primarily only use two in DCS, so um, you want to be keeping that in mind um, unless you're running like the, uh, the beacon will sometimes have three digits or if you're running like an ADF. So in our case, we're going to be looking for the status, which is on 7 for X-ray. So the first digit is going to be a zero. And we're going to come to 7, 4, X-ray. Roger. And we'll just keep an eye on our, yep, Tekken. You can see that it moved. And if we go to our F10 map, there's the Stennis right back there to our left. So it's right on point. Okay. And the final piece on the Tekken that I'm going to show you guys is the feature of basically having two frequencies preset. So we just told Jester to point at the um, Stennis. Once again, if we go into our Jester menu, Go to navigation, TACAN. You can see tr transmit received 74 X ray Rio. Okay. So if we come down here to our TACAN radio, you can see that we're still pointed at Aldoffer Air Base at 96 and X ray switch. And you can see this light right here. You can see how it says uh, NFO. Okay. That's the uh, Rio position. If we simply come up here and turn it, oops, to pilot and come back to our station. You can see that now the TACAN has moved back to the Aldafra location. Okay, and you can so you can always have multiple um, TACANs ready to roll at a moment's notice. For example, if we want a gesture to tune to the uh, tanker, let's have him do that real quick. So once again, and this time we're going to tell him to go into air to air mode. Welcome. And then we'll have him select a channel. Oop, there we go. So we'll just go tune tack in. You got about. Have him find the uh, tanker. Okay, so he's located the tanker. And now let's set ours to the stennis. Let's come down here. Oop. Seven. Four X ray. Kick that back over to pilot. And we're back on the on the uh, Stennis. All right. So I hope that cleared up how to navigate the F-14 Tomcat. You've uh, learned how to enter in your waypoints in manually, how to set them up in the um, computer system manually as well, how to navigate using the TACAN, as well as using the independent channels for Rio and Pilot. If you guys have any questions, as usual, leave them in the comments below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, hit that bell for notifications of future content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.